So what is going on guys? Welcome back to a bit of a different video, but also a very exciting video. Before I get on and explain what this video is all about, if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, please do so. If you didn't already know, I do have a second channel where I vlog in it and do extra content for you guys. So click in the link in the description down below to subscribe to the second channel. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button, it is free. But anyways, this video, basically what is happening is Sports Direct Football have invited myself and a bunch of other influencers to the event called The Warm Up. Now what is happening during this event is a three day event. Day number one, we go to like a launch sort of party. Day number two, we get a private jet, a private jet up to Newcastle, head to their training ground and take part in a training session coached by Jamie Velocity. And day number three, the final day, we play on St. James's Park against a staff team, including the legend that is Peter Beardsley. I know what you're thinking, Theo, you're playing on St. James's Park, the Premier League starts very soon. Yes, we are the first people to play on the new turf. Are we gonna ruin it? Let's hope not, but currently, it is actually day two. I finished the training and had the launch event. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back in time and catch up with myself going into the event. about to play a game of FIFA with Charlie and look who's here, Jamel is here. There's quite a lot of people here. This is the first event throughout the whole weekend. We're about to play a game of FIFA 07, as I just said. Let us know your predictions in the comment section. Jamel, who's gonna win between me and Charlie? Charlie, mate, sorry. So, the game's over. You're looking at a champion here. 5-2 victor. Charlie, how are you feeling, mate? Sad? Uh, it's not on camera, it's on count, mate. <laughs> So I've checked into my hotel for this evening. The event tonight has ended. Overall, good little event. But tomorrow is when the big stuff starts. I wake up tomorrow morning, head to the airport, and get a private jet up to Newcastle. I'm gonna eat my sweet potato wedges and see you in the morning. Here we are, currently on the way to the airport. About to board our private jet. Everyone's looking very excited. We arrived at Luton Airport to our private jet. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Never been on a private jet before. If you get used to this, I uh, wonder what it's like inside. Are you excited? Yeah! Boys and girls, welcome to the private jet. This is nuts. There's a seat there. Have a look at the seat. There's shiny glasses there. And then have a look around. Not bad, is it? Not too bad. As you can see, the Sims made himself at home. I've never felt carpet this soft in my life. <laughs> Memory foam. You got a selection of Canapes. Canapes! <laughs> if you don't want a chair, make use of the sofas, you know? Bag down here, sofa here, walk through here. We've even got a toilet seat, which is comfortable as hell. Look at that. You ever seen that? A leather toilet seat and a nice mirror. If you wanted to look at yourself. Rating's that a 10? Probably a 10. Greatest playing experience I've ever had in my life. Hugh Sake of sports and football, obviously, once again. I'm gonna drink my water and enjoy this plane. We're about to take off, I've just discovered. Uh, my seats are wiggling. Look at this. Have you had a wiggly seat before? Jamil's getting down over there. Jamil, we should get you a pole. And we've got our own speakers. Thanks on the plane. Oh my word. We've got a small plane to go straight up this plane. Peanuts and apple juice. Falling. Going straight up. Like I'm on a spaceship. basically landed it myself. Now doing the short walk onto this minibus. Look, there's the plane, there it is. I felt a lot safer, like sitting in the cockpit, knowing what they were doing. Cause it was quite a windy one on the way down. So uh, sitting in the cockpit was just like, obviously I'd never done it before. Felt a lot safer knowing they were in control of the plane. That was awesome. First private jet experience done, boys. And a short drive later, we've arrived at That's Newcastle like training ground. This is gonna be good. First up, food, and then training, and then ice box. Off the bus, and we've been greeted by this. You think, oh Theo, that looks like your normal Adidas bag. You're wrong, it's full of brand new gear given to us by Sports Direct. Look at that, you've got trainers, you've got boots, you've got tops, you've got jumpers, you've got beautiful stuff. So we've just had a little like tour, it felt like it was back at university, learning all about nutrition and how each player has its own specific needs 
and dive through requirements. Now, let's have a look in the Adidas bag. First up, we've got my neck. We've got a hoodie. This is a nice little hoodie actually, I read, I read that. We've got a Puma football. We've also got the, the shorts to the kit. And then we've got the top. Now I showed you this a little bit yesterday, well, earlier on in the vlog. That's the top, that's the back. Number seven. That's right, we're talking Beckham. We're talking Ronaldo, pair of trackies to go with the jumper. And then, oh my word, boys and girls, we've got socks. Do I need any more of these? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like. We've got something else to smell. A pair of shorts. Good, 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 good. We've also got football black socks. Adidas once again. And then here we have, what's that? A little Adidas t shirt. Very nice. But this is a full on pack open, isn't it? And then, water bottle. And now we're talking. This is what you want to see. What trainers do I have? Drum roll, please. Oh my gosh. Wow. Cloud foam. They're like Ultra Boost, but cloudy. We've got the Nemesis, but not any old Nemesis. We've got a laced. Nemesis. Now obviously I own a pair of Nemesis myself, but I don't own a pair of laced Nemesis. Um, I've got my own boots with me, so I don't know. I may wear these, I may wear my own. But thank you very much, Sports Direct Football and Adidas. Let's go have lunch. We are talking a good lunch. Proper dietary performance based lunch. Anyway, let me show you what it is. We've got pasta, we've got tomato sauce, we've got cauliflower, we've got broccoli, we've got sweet corn under there, we've got, what else we got? Carrots, we've got chicken, we've got rice. No, we don't, we have salmon. Very nice anyway. Look how healthy this is. This is what we need to be. Exactly. Now we're talking, we've got the training gear. Look at that, time to get changed. Right, we're now out on the training ground. As you can hear, very, very windy. First up is a bit of a warm up, and then I think we're going into some kind of speed agility quickness sort of thing. Let's do it. Let's try to play me. Yes, Theo. Make it count. Yes. And a break. Now it's time for some attack v defence. Let's go. Yes. Three, two, one. one. Uh. Send me, send me. <laughs> right, training is over. I'm knackered. My legs hurt and they don't have an ice bath. I'm truly upset. What is the one thing everyone ends in training with? Oh, I love you. I'm right. Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh! So training is over. Sick day basically being a professional footballer. And now it's time to go back to the hotel, have some dinner and prepare for the match at St James's Park tomorrow. Let's go. And that brings us to the present day. So as you are aware, it is now Saturday night. We've done the training, we've had the launch event, and tomorrow is the game day. I'm very, very excited for it. However, I'm very tired. It's currently half past 10. We just had a meal, um, very nice brisket, and very nice sticky toffee pudding, if I do say so myself. But as I said, tomorrow is the game. So it is time to grab some sleep, and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Today is game day. I've had breakfast, I've had a coffee, I've had fruit. It's all looking good. Hopefully my legs hold up from the training yesterday and the holiday. But yes, it's currently 10 to 10. We're leaving at 10 and I have an entire room to pack. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the warm-up is done. The handshakes are in progress. Next up is the match. What you're about to see are the best highlights and the goals. Enjoy. Mobbins out, the 
Right, game is over. We're heading in from the turf. Oh my god, it's dark in here. What a game that was. 10 nil victors. 10 1. 10 1. Oh, yeah, they scored a worldy goal, didn't they? Uh, yeah, it's now time to get changed, rest up, grab some food, and get back on the private jet. Quickly before we uh, head off, you know, I said that the, uh, the training ground didn't have the ice bath. This place does, as you see. So, me and Isa are going to jump in. Ooh. And see how cold it is. Let me have a little finger. Stand first. Oh, I'll go first. I'll do it. Let's go straight in. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. I'm just holding myself up. My whole legs are just tingling. Ah! It's like numb. Oh! Hold yourself up. My whole legs have gone numb. This is genuine. I'm gonna do the whole. Three or four minutes. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna do four minutes. We're currently two minutes in. Once you get in, you're all right after about. It takes about 90 seconds to come accustomed to it. Now my legs are so numb, I just can't feel it. This is amazing. Short coach ride right later. We are back on the private jet. Standard now, isn't it? Really. Look, Seb's making himself at home. Back in the seat we came earlier. Honestly, today has been absolutely crazy. Right, currently in the air. Actually, over Manchester. Ten minutes into the journey, and now we're eating. We got burgers. We have got chips from Byron. Ratings. Better than five guys or not? No. Still good though. Right, leaving the private jet. Now about to board our uh, coach to King's Cross. Finally, I've made it back home and I'm absolutely exhausted. What an incredible weekend that is. Private jets, training at the training ground, playing on St. James's Park. That truly is living the life of a professional footballer. I couldn't do it without you guys. And obviously I have to say thank you to Sports Direct Football for setting this whole thing up for the warm up. What an occasion, what a weekend, what a video. If you've enjoyed this video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow Sports Direct Football and myself on Instagram. They are linked in the description down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in another video very soon. So until then guys, I'll see you later.